everyone, this is Laszlo, your Light Hunter again, with another review of two fantastic Sony E mount lenses. The Sony 24mm f1.4 G Master and the Samyang 24mm f1.8 autofocus lens. As the Samyang lens has just been released on the market recently. There are only quite a few reviews out there on the optical performance of this lens. However, I haven't really seen any comparison between the 24mm G Master and the Samyang lens. I would like to really understand the key differences between those two lenses. As in the past few years, the 24G Master was my, uh, my main and the first lens for astrophotography and landscape photography. So I would like to know, would it worth to downgrade for the 24mm 1.8 Samyang lens? Or is it still worth to keep the G Master lens for this purpose? Samyang is claiming that this lens has superior optical performance from corner to corner sharpness and also minimal aberrations for the night sky and for astrophotography. So I would like to understand if it's, if it's really true, if it really could be the case that even I might think about downgrading my 24G Master. When you compare them side by side, and in terms of size and the weight, you can see that the, uh, that the Samyang lens has the advantage. It's smaller, it's lighter. But if you compare them in terms of the uh, build quality, the Sony G Master has a much better feel in the hand. It's very robust, it's massive, like a tank. It has a very good feel. The Samyang lens is more feels uh, a little plasticky, as the full body is, uh, feels like a, a little bit cheaper plastic. However, the, uh, the focus ring turns very uh, smoothly, but it has also enough, uh, enough firmness when you turn it. The backside of the lens, you also have a gasket, so it's basically weather sealed. So as you can see, there is a small LED on the side of the lens. As this lens is designed mainly for astrophotography, it does something very specific for you. So the biggest challenge in astrophotography is to achieve perfect focus and have pinpointed and sharp stars on each frames you make. Samyang did something very uh, unique and very specific with this lens and uh, hopefully it can make the people of lovers of astrophotography lives much easier than it was before. So actually when you uh, when you put your lens on the camera and you're holding down the button, the custom button, this little LED will turn to green. And whenever it's green, it shows you that the, uh, the lens is focused to infinity. So you don't have to mess up anymore with, uh, with setting your focus or accidentally twisting your focus ring and uh, at home realizing that uh, half of your pictures are uh, rubbish. That with this tool, little tool Samyang just, uh, just produced, you're able to achieve perfect focus without doing anything. So let's go out together and, and find out if Samyang made something historical with this lens. here and uh, after a few days of testing uh, I brought something very interesting conclusion and results for you. I was testing both lenses uh, in terms of sharpness, contrast, how they perform against the direct sunlight, uh, so flaring, ghosting and uh, the sun stars and I was lucky enough to have one clear night when I was able to go out and shoot it at least for one hour of the Milky Way. The spot I found it was not the best, unfortunately. The light pollution was very bad. 
but at least I was able to, uh, to get some clarification how the lenses perform against each other. So um, let's have a look at the results. So I will share the link. You can download those images and uh, pixel peep them yourself. So let's have a look at the sharpness first. Um, the 24mm G Master is on the left, wide open. And on the right side, you can see the Samyang also shot at wide open at 1.8. So if you look at the middle of the frame, they both look incredibly sharp and retain a massive amount of detail. I wouldn't even tell myself which one is sharper. I'll leave it up to you. And if you look at the corners, they also look I would say equally sharp. If you look at the other corner, then it's also very impressive that the Samyang is, is actually, I would say, hat to hat to the GM, which is very impressive. Well done, Samyang. Now we have both lenses at f1.8. Let's have a look at the differences. I would probably say that the GM might have a little bit more contrast if you look at the roof but it's very tiny i wouldn't even see myself without zooming in if you look at the corners I'd say probably the gm also looks a little sharper and you can tell yourself that uh, the uh, the vignette on the samyang is much heavier than on the gm a stop down at 1.8 look at the other corner then you can probably see that the GM if you look at the edge of the roof here or the chimney now it has a little bit more clarity and a little bit more contrast okay so I jump to f8 because till now uh, there was no difference at all they were they were almost identical I wouldn't tell the difference myself um, here is almost the same story. Probably the GM has a little advantage, but it's just a tiny, or maybe it's just to my eye. If you look at the corners, they look the same, almost identical, really. The only difference, uh, which you also might see, that the field of view on the GM looks a little wider. Here you have more on the left and also more, more on the right. So the Samyang might be, uh, a little bit more narrow so it could be more like a 24 and a half or maybe a 25 millimeter focal length but that's also negligible so looking at the stun stars um, you have the samyang on the left and on the 24 g master is on the right so you can see that the the images are quite identical it, it's really on your personal taste which one you like more um, the uh, the Samyang lens has probably a little bit more yellowish tone. And uh, yeah, maybe the sun star and the flare is, uh, is, is a little more significant on the GM. But also you can see some, some flaring and ghosting around the sun star, which is a little bit more controlled on the Samyang. So finally, we are here with the astro part. As you can see, the location I found, it was not perfect at all but it was good for testing purposes. I wanted to start quickly with a side note here as the Samyang lens is designed for astrophotography. And that's what the, uh, the custom button is desired to do, is to achieve perfect infinity focus. So I've used this lens first out of the box. And for me, with the basic and default settings, it was, uh, it was not perfect. So you can see that the stars are not sharp and not pinpointed enough. So I had to, uh, to adjust it recalibrate it but from that point it just worked perfectly and worked well so what we've seen from the Samyang lens so far it was already impressive but when it came to the astro part uh, that was the point when I had to sit down so as you can see I've used both lenses at the first shot with the, at wide open so the Samyang lens is on the left at 1.8 and the uh, the GM is on the, the right at 1.4 Probably you can notice that there is some kind of distortion with the Samyang lens. It's the horizon is not totally straight, but it's, it's really negligible and uh, I think it's easy to correct in post. But apart from that, uh, they look fairly identical. Uh, the GM has a little bit more vignette 
which is also very easy to fix. So at the first look, uh, it's, it's very promising. So let's have a look at sharpness. And we first look at the uh, images in the middle of the frame. Um, we can see that both lenses produce extremely good results. As I mentioned before, you can download those images and pick up peep and judge yourself. Mm. Yeah, in the middle, I, I cannot really tell any difference, to be honest. We are moving a little bit closer to the side. Yeah, I do not see any kind of coma or chromatic aberration on the Samyang. There is maybe a slight uh, CA on, on this star, for example, on the GM, but there is nothing on the, uh, the Samyang lens. That's again, a very impressive Samyang, well done. If we have a look at the corners though, um, that's the point where we can uh, open discussion. So you can see that those stars uh, shouldn't make any trails because I've only used a 10 second exposure in 24 millimeters. So uh, that's definitely an aberration. Um, I would say it's more like a, uh, more like a, a coma or it could be even an astigmatism. But definitely the, the GM has some very tiny little wings on the stars. Uh, but those stars look like little trails on the Samyang lens. But that's nothing serious, I would say. It's really the, uh, the extreme corners. And for example, if you look at this one here on the Samyang, it has a little bit of uh, chromatic aberration, but it has no wings at all. This star on the GM lens, it has actually both. If we have a look at the other corner, We can see that here, even the Samyang produces even better results uh, than the other corner. And uh, while the GM has some slight wings on the stars, uh, the Samyang does not. So that's very impressive at the first look. That was tough. I have to say, by looking at all the pictures and considering the test results, I have to agree and I have to say that Samyang did something unique and niche on the market. With its tiny and lightweight 24mm 1.8 lens, now I will bravely say that they did something historical. Before I, I started this test, uh, honestly speaking, I was, I was expecting something different. I was expecting a much bigger gap between those two lenses considering that you're paying three times the money for the GM lens. And you're not even getting a full stop of light advantage. So um, the Samian lens uh, now made me think, because it's, it's really hard to say anything bad about this lens. It has an extremely good performance in, uh, in, in, in the light conditions. Um, so when it came to coasting and flaring, the sun star, sharpness, everything was perfect, just almost head to head with the GM lens. And uh, I was afraid a little bit more of the uh, of the astrophotographic part when, uh, when we see the stars and the, the aberrations are uh, quite often visible on the, uh, let's say, cheaper lenses. And, um, and I'm, I'm really speechless here, uh, honestly, because uh, you've also seen that the uh, the images are almost identical in both lenses. So what to say? Um, I'm going to think, I'm also going to test more of both lenses. But Samyang now seriously made me think if it's worth to keep the GM or uh, or shall I think about the, uh, the new little member of the family. Thank you very much again for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found something useful. If you have any questions or comments, I'm more than happy to answer. Also, if you like my Instagram feed, um, please feel free to follow. And uh, also, I would highly recommend to, uh, to check out my website at uh, lighthuntersgroup.com. So I'm always sharing the, uh, the upcoming workshops and uh, also share some blogs about the workshops. I'll be more than happy to, uh, to see you once in a while uh, on the field. Thanks for watching again. See you very soon. Bye for now.